Television in Nepal is undergoing a major upgrade. It's going digital. All cable operators are phasing out the conventional analog transmissions, replacing it with digital signals. It's a government initiative in compliance with the 2017 deadline set by the International Telecommunication Union of the United Nations for the ITU member countries to go digital. What that means for cable subscribers is that they will now have to purchase a separate set of box and connect it to their TV to keep watching their favorite channels. That's not essentially bad for the consumers, it's actually good for everyone. For the little extra investment and the subscription fees, you'll get clear connections and HD picture quality. Quite interestingly, a number of service providers have been doing that for a few years now. And with this transition soon ending, another one joins the lot, Net TV. But it's unlike any other service provider we've ever seen before. It's the first Nepali company to broadcast television using signals based on internet protocol or IP. And to do that, it has collaborated with three of Nepal's popular internet service providers, Whirlink, Vinet, and Hans. Confused? Well, let me break it down for you. Net TV is an IPTV service provider, which relies on fast internet service to air TV contents instead of conventional broadcasting media like radio waves, cables, or satellite signals. In this case, it's the fiber optics link of any of those three ISP providers that connects to a setup box, which, in turn, connects to the TV. And today, we're testing the platform out here in our office. This is the Net TV setup box, which is a relatively new technology but comes with a lot of features. And plus, it's very easy to use. The setup box starts with an integrated UI, which is interactive and user-friendly. The home screen displays icons for live TV, movies, TV shows, theater, and more. What's interesting here besides all these contents is how NetTV has been able to take advantage of high-speed internet service to send out all these engaging visual contents. Take this live TV feature for instance. You can watch local and international TV channels as they normally air. And they are offering over 35 HD channels and some 80 SD channels. Those are pretty good numbers. And they are soon adding more based on subscribers' demands. To know which programs are currently airing and which ones are scheduled on each channel, there is an application called Electronic Program Guide or EPG. It also provides a brief summary or commentary about each of those programs. Consider it an electronic equivalent of a printed television program guide. Another handy feature is time shifting or digital video recording. What it essentially does is record live television for the viewers to watch later on. With Net TV, however, you don't require any local storage device to use this feature. All your favorite TV programs are always available at your disposal. Net TV servers auto record all the TV programs aired during any given week. Which means not only will you not miss out on any of your favorite shows, but you can also watch them over and over. And that terrific feature is only a few clicks away. Net TV also offers video on demand, which allows viewers to choose their preferred audiovisual content and watch or listen to it. You have several movies and TV shows. It's a pretty fancy arrangement because subscribers have the liberty to choose and watch what they feel like when they feel like. No longer will anyone have to wait for a movie or a series to air at a specified channel at a specified time. With several Nepali, Hindi and English movies on the list available to the viewers, in addition to countless TV shows. NetTV plans to add more value-added services in the future so that things like weather, chat services and news are only a click away. For instance, Facebook and YouTube are very close to being integrated into this IPTV service, which will make your TV into a primary information hub or irresistible social media portal. But that's not all. NetTV operates on what it calls a multi-screen platform, 
which allows you to enjoy Net TV services on various devices simultaneously. And the Net TV app, available on both Android and iOS, is the medium that enables you to do that. The joy of watching television on your smartphone is finally here. Wherever you go, you can always have access to all your TV experience through this app. How this works is, in this app, you type in the same login details of your Net TV account that you use on your setup box. Provided that you are connected to the internet through Wi-Fi or data packages which are offered by Ansel, you can enjoy watching digital TV right on the palm of your hands. And the best part is, you can also add more channels to your viewing list anytime by paying for them through eSaver, SCTN Pay, iPay or with a Net TV recharge card. TV contents are thus no longer confined to households anymore. They can now be enjoyed anywhere and everywhere. These are some of the advantages that IPTV has over digital TV. Another good thing about Net TV is it runs without a lag regardless of the weather conditions. So that's a clear advantage over satellite and cable TVs. So this is what I personally think. Net TV seems to be a genuine and innovative platform to watch television content. And as television goes digital, this innovative IPTV platform with its interesting features, huge array of channels and the way it operates may very well be the future of television broadcasting. That's all for the show today guys. I'm sure you liked the video. We'll be back again next week with more interesting videos. Until then, this is Biraj signing off. We live around countless stories. Stories waiting to be discovered. Discover them through us, through our words, our lens, our voice, on any platform you like. Because we know what you prefer. Get your stories from MNS VMAG. Read, watch, listen.